Hi everyone, it's a bit of a tight squeeze on here right now and you might be wondering why that is and it's because I'm about to, well partly because my cat's decided he would like to be a YouTuber as well. Um, you're facing the wrong way darling, you need to turn around. That's it, show everyone your beautiful face. Say hello, there's a good boy. Um, this is uh, this is Mozart, <laughs> Mozart, but I also have been known to refer to him as Lucifer because I just think he is my very own Lucifer from Cinderella, aren't you? Hey, recipe? So, um, today's video is a gigantic haul, cat not included, of things that I bought when I went to Disneyland Paris in June this year. So, um, I think a lot of it is still in stock. If I know of things that they don't sell anymore, um, especially as part of the 30th celebrations, I'll let you know. Um, but let's have a look, let's get started. I'm going to start with the big stuff because then that will actually clear a bit more space for me to sit down. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start with is this Cinderella Coach popcorn bucket. Now, I actually went along thinking that they might have the D100 in um, stock and actually was surprised to find this one, which is very, very similar, as you'll see, to the Disneyland California one but with the exception that when you lift the lid, it doesn't have the bit that makes it light up. Um, so make of that what you will, whether that makes it preferable or less so for you. But um, I decided it was really pretty. Uh, that's my reasoning for most things, to be honest, is I think it's pretty, so I buy it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is uh, that is the Cinderella popcorn coach bucket. I did have my popcorn in it, it was delicious. I had salted popcorn and I brought it home with me and um, it tasted pretty good for a good week or so after we got back. Um, I managed to make it last that long and bring the taste of Disney home with me. So that was the popcorn bucket. I think that was, I think it was about 27 euros, including popcorn. I think that's about what it worked out at. Okay, item number two. <coughs> Hua! Whoops. <laughs> Um, best laid plans, it, something had to fall at some point and I'm not surprised it was sooner rather than later. Pua, this is the Pua Bigfoot. Um, I like Pua because he reminds me of one of my other cats, this one's Lucifer, and uh, one of my others is Pua. And in fact, if you look on my shorts of the Cinderella popcorn bucket, you will see him sat in the background, that's him. Um, real name, Loki. Uh, but this is Pua and he is a Bigfoot and he was 30 euros and I just look at his little face and his ears and it's, it's his face that reminds me of, of Loki so I just couldn't resist. So I didn't. <laughs> okay, um, item number three. Let's do, no I don't want to put those away yet. Let's do some of this stuff. So, Puddin, you've got to give up your nice shiny thing. This is the 30th anniversary autograph book. This was 13 euros and it's got the, it's basically a pen there. It's got the Chippendale on the back and the two, four, six, eight. The main eights on the front with the Disney 30th and all in their 30th outfits, which is really sweet. Um, on the inside, it's really lovely. You've got the ride icons and the Disney 30th that you can slide your photos into. Uh, I would say that's a 6x4 photo slot probably. Don't think it's a 5x7. I think that's too big. And then, yeah, Chip and Dale. I think Chip and Dale are on all the pages. Yes, they are. There you go. So 13 euros. I didn't think that was bad, really, at all, actually. Even better than that, if you want little, like, bits for people... These have unfortunately sold out, so I shouldn't get your hopes up. So I won't tell you how much they were, because that would just make you disappointed that they don't have them available. Um, but these are little um, mint and sweet trays, and they are metal. And I had Daisy, who... You're going to steal my spot, aren't you? Uh, Daisy, who was... I think she was a sorted flavour. So there's apple and some citrusy ones and uh, things like that in there. That's Daisy. And then there was Minnie, who she was cherry flavoured. That's it, good boy, you can stay there. That's cherry flavour. I don't like cherry flavour, but my other half does. And then Chippendale, who was apple flavour. And then the castle, lastly. 
and those were mints and they're all really nice and the um i'll show you with the, the assorted ones they're such pretty colors look look how pretty those green ones are the apple ones oh no oh no well there's only one thing for that i'm gonna have to eat it now <laughs> i don't need any excuses to eat but i will take it when i'm offered one <clears throat> okay what else do we have I found these. These were another lovely little space saving uh, gift or um, souvenir idea. These are actually magnetic bookmarks. So um, you've got Mickey, Minnie, Donald and Goofy and then oops, I've opened the packaging. They literally just unclip and then you put them on your book page, which is great because I'm always reading. Just call me Belle. And um, yeah, I'm always reading, so these are really handy because usually I just end up using the outside of a net, well, an envelope, a bit of envelope to mark my spot. And these are much cuter and much more durable and long lasting. Holding my hand here is really not doing anything to help you see them, is it? Hopefully you're getting the gist of it. Let's do ears. How can you go to Disney and not come back with a pair of ears? I came back with two as it happens. I bought the Aurora ones and I am, what do you think? Do you cut off your tags? Because I I didn't get these ones cut off when I bought the ears and I um, put them on earlier and I thought, oh, they're just, the tags are so ridiculous. Um, so I am, I'm gonna cut them off, I think. But these are the new princesses. These are the Aurora ones and they say Disneyland Paris on the side in gold, which is nice really like the like the little gemstone and the crown in the middle that's really pretty and uh, all the sparkly glitter and the shiny fabric as well really nice so i got the aurora pair and sorry pluto but i'm gonna borrow the aerial ears oh come with me come with me you can't take him away from his ears so these modeled beautifully by pluto these are the little mermaid ears can you just there we go good boy uh, and as you can see lots going on here you've got the lovely sparkly fabric you've got the sequins you've got the kind of kind of pearlescent-y holographic-y i'd say more pearlescent-y it's kind of pink um little shell in the middle and then the beautiful sequins oh which i recently found out so bad for the environment and that makes me feel really conflicted because i love sequins i love all things sparkly but i also really really want the world to be okay so <laughs> i'm trying to cut down on buying things with sequins on um not that you'll believe that from one of the things i've got to show you as well and then these are green with Disneyland Paris as well. So again, really pretty. That's the front. And that's the back. Very, very nice. You can have these back, Pluto. I didn't buy Pluto this trip. I bought him last trip. So he is <laughs> in his little tongue. Um, I've had... Don't get jealous. I know you stick your tongue out too. Um, I have had him since uh, September last year. And um, I saw another girl walking around the park with him and I was like, oh, he's adorable. And then I found him and I thought he was the only one in the store, so I bought him. Only to find he wasn't the only one, they actually had loads, so I didn't need to panic buy him. But he, look how sweet he is. He's just this, this very baby yellow and soft and this little grey the ears. I just thought he was so cute. And look, his little tongue sticking out. He's just so sweet. So I got... Pluto as well. So Pluto is an is honorarily joining us today and you can go back to modelling the ears. I won't take those off you. I, and she did cut the tag off for me when I bought these so I put them straight on um, which is probably why they do not have the tag. Well it is why they don't have the tag and the others do because if it's left up to me I tend to leave it on there out of indecision whereas if I'm asked in the moment I'm okay to have it cut off. There we go, there we go. Oh, that suits you. Suits you, please, say. I've got an honorary, <clears throat> another honorary member joining me. This is Charles the Corgi. Um, Charles the Corgi has been to Disneyland twice. And um, he, I bought him from, um, 
think it was Luton Airport that we went from in September and I found him in like the WH Smiths or equivalent there and um, at the time the Queen had just died and I was actually really saddened by it because um, you know she was just very grandmotherly I thought so I was really really sad and um, I felt very conflicted about what happened and I know she was an old lady and not everyone likes her but I felt sad about it and um, I found Charles in the uh, in the shop and his name wasn't Charles at that point I, I decided to call him Charles A because we were flying into Charles de Gaulle and B because Prince Charles and it kind of was a bit of a crossover name to be honest and also you can say it in a nice French accent um, which I'm not going to do because my French accent is not the nicest necessarily. Um, but yeah, so I bought Charles and then he spent the entire trip with me, pinned under my arm, going around, meeting Pluto, meeting Goofy. They were very excited, he was very excited, it was all a whole big thing. Um, and then I took him back with me in June and he had a whale of a time and his favourite ride is Big Thunder Mountain. He really likes that, don't you Charles? That's his voice, that's how he speaks. Um, so that's Charles. In case you're wondering, probably not, but... Okay, back to the task at hand. Sorry, Puddin. Is it like reverse Christmas? I'm taking everything off you. This is um, something I wanted in September when we went. They still had them in. This is the Donald Duck um, Christmas decoration, 30th Christmas decoration. And he's in the rocket from Tomorrowland. And um, we had a lot of fun getting in and mostly getting out of those when we went in September and I'd wanted him at that point but at that point because we were flying um, space was an issue whereas this time we drove and it made it a lot easier to buy stuff. So um, this is the um, 30th uh, Orbitron ornament and it was 20 euros and I, it's in the 30th colours as you, oh dear, as you can see if I angle everything correctly there you go. So I'm looking forward to having him on the Christmas tree. I did notice if you're looking for these, you have to be careful because some of them had um, these bits broken off because they're quite fragile if you're not careful. And um, you know, so, but he's, he's also got a little glittery, I don't know if you can see the glitter, but he's got glittery tuxedo, which is sweet. And I do have a soft spot for Donald Duck. Okay, well, what is next is the thing, I'll go through the things that I technically didn't buy from Disneyland Paris, but I bought while I was in Disneyland Paris, and they also had them there, which is what inspired me to buy them. I was um, essentially trying to make my spending money go further by not having to spend my euros and putting it on my card instead. So, I bought this. This is the Up Lego House. Look at Doug. Look, Kevin's footsteps. I love that. So cute. It's really fun to put together as well. My other half and I um, had a few enjoyable hours doing that. And you do it kind of piece by piece and then you, you block various rooms together, which is fun. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was really enjoyable. We've got Carl. And the detail in there, you've got all the photos. You can see their wedding photo at the back there. And the Carl and Ellie pictures. And then, uh, is that kind of like a, a landscape and you've got the gramophone there under the lamp next to him and behind him can you see the money jar that's so sweet so the, and then you've got the and these are um stickers the detail on these you've got the little bird and the compass that are on their um kind of fireplace and then you've got the um the mural that they paint as well which i really want to do in one of my rooms but so far not allowed doesn't mean I won't ever do it. It just means I'm biding my time. <laughs> and then you've got the little bed. And look, it's even even though it's like right inside, it, they've taken the time to make it look patchworky, like a quilt, which I think is great. And I mean, Disney do pay a lot of attention to detail, don't they? That's why they're like, in my opinion, the best. Because they take so much time and effort to do things. And it just really, it, in my opinion, it really pays off and it's worthwhile. So, yeah, you've got the front of the house and then you've got the little, the hose and Russell with various things. He's got um, a frying pan, he's got a fork, he's got a telescope, he's got binoculars and he's got, I think the red thing is a cup as well. So he's got loads of his stuff. 
Good afternoon. <laughs> Here we go. I think my funniest, funniest moment of this film, and I love this film, is um, when, he, when he has the GPS thing. And he, he's talking about we've got a way home, and then he goes like this, and then he just see it fly out the window with the little whistle. It just is so funny. It, it, it makes me laugh as much as it makes me absolutely bore my eyes out at the start. We don't talk about Ellie. Not from the start, it's too sad, it's too, too sad. And then you also get um, this little piece as well, which the balloons come out of, there we go. So this bit sits outside of it, you've got the squirrel. <laughs> um, the squirrel and the, uh, obviously, the mailbox. And then some more balloons and the helium bit as well. It's just so sweet. And it's like blowing up the red balloon. Really cute. So yeah, absolutely love that. So yes, I ordered that online for delivery when I got back. And But I'm counting it because I would have bought it from the shop if I hadn't then anyway. See you, sweetheart. Okay, bye. Uh, right, okay. So these, have I got all of them? Is that like a missing the pink? one where have you gone there's a pink one somewhere it's probably she's blown off somewhere i don't know where this is um peter pegasus he has a name peter pegasus and his siblings from fantasia and look <laughs> he is just the grumpiest little pegasus I have seen in my entire life and I am living for it. He's just so mad about everything and he's adorable with it. So um, there you go, Aurora will cheer you up. Um, and then you've got the orange ones, her little surprise eyes. I got a bit caught out when I first saw them because I was like, why is Disney selling My Little Pony? I don't know, but I love it. And then I realized, no, it's, it's Fantasia. And then I was even more excited. Got the little blue one, he's sleepy, he's tired, he wants to go to bed. It's past his bedtime. I still don't know where your sibling's gone. I definitely had her down here. And then the little yellow one. And these are they come in a little gauzy bag with the hundredth logo on, the decades as well. So this is part of the Disney 100 celebration. And yes, they did have them in stock in Disneyland Paris as well as on Shop Disney. <clears throat> and then I just wanted to show you the 30th anniversary bags that you can get out there. They have about three different sizes. This is the small, with the various icons from the different parks. And that brings us to the 30th lounge fly. <laughs> um, I, I kind of figured I have a 50th lounge fly for Walt Disney World, which we didn't make it to during the anniversary celebration. That's because of COVID. The trip was booked and then COVID happened. And way back in 2021, we were due to go the week after they opened the borders and let people fly so by that point we'd already rebooked it for the following year which also then got pushed back so um i had one of the 50th and i was like well i haven't been to that but i have been to the 30th it would be weird if i didn't get a 30th lounge fly um but i had the 50th and i hadn't been so these were back in stock which was really exciting because they are really really beautiful and uh, highly sought after so um i debated for I think two out of the four days we were there and then I just bought I bought it so you've got the lovely fireworks embroidered on there and this purple oh my goodness it is so deep and so rich and it shines in the sun and I will say that it's quite warm to wear a sequin all over sequin backpack in the park at this time of year in Disneyland Paris. I'm very sensitive to the heat, so it might just be me. But then, yeah, you've got the Disneyland Paris. I think that's printed, let's just 
the uh, it's, it's textured. Oh, okay, the fireworks are embroidered, and then the writing and the, the Disneyland on the 30th is kind of um, printed on. But yeah, you've got the lovely embroidery there, and then you've got sequined pockets. I really like the two tone purple as well, that's really lovely. And then on the back, it's quite plain, it's got um, debossing of Disneyland, Paris, and then the 30th icon, which is really nice. So I did treat myself to one of these. People were going absolutely like insane for them. Um, they've got here, oh yes, there's the inside, hang on, let's reposition that a bit. There's the inside lining. So it says the 30th and it's got the fireworks. So yeah, these were really, really popular. They were selling out really quickly, pretty, pretty much as soon as they could stock them in the stores they were selling out. Um, and in fact, uh, when my sister went a couple of weeks ago, they had all gone and um, they were saying that they wouldn't restock any of the 30th merchandise going forward, even though it officially doesn't end until September. So that's interesting. Um, and I just found in there, I remembered that I'd done this. They do, um, they don't do pressed coins in Disneyland Paris, but they do. I got you. Can't have more than one of you escaping at any one time. Um, they do have these medallions which are really nice and shiny so i got the 2022 one last year i figured i should keep it going and get the 2023 one as well and then there's just a couple more things so i got the 30th hand soap and it's grapefruit scented, which is nice, nice and fresh. And then they've got this, um, you might have seen them before, you might not have. They have had them on Shop Disney recently in various different styles. Um, but they have this Mickey Mouse head shaped nozzle. And it didn't work brilliantly when it first started. I think possibly it was a little bit full, but now it's um, less full. It works really well. Oh no, I'm gonna have to get a new one. I'm actually pretty close to the end. You put your hand under and you press it down, as you do with soap, and it comes out as like a Mickey shape, which is really cool. So, um, yeah, that's fun, and like I say, it smells of um, grapefruit, so hopefully I'll get another one of those, because it is nice. And then the very last thing I got, and I am going to do a longer video on this, on its own, because I think it, it merits it. Um, this is one of their magic wands, and it is such a lovely thing to do you do this in the castle under not under um inside the castle there's a glass shop a glass blowing glass sculpture shop um i'm going to take the lid off before i show it to you just because it's it's really padded in here but the top is not so if the wand moves forward it's actually um not as well protected as it is further down so it's this lovely holographic box oh there you go you can see that really well now all the different park ride icons, the 30th, really nice solid box as well. It's got the carousel, Pirates of the Caribbean, Space Mountain, really lovely. And then what you do is sometimes they have some that are ready made, um, but essentially you pick your base for the wand and um, what you want it uh, to have on the top so I went with a, a rose and um, it's all beautifully shaped and you can have them engraved and then you pick three crystal colours to go in them so I'm not as I say I'm going to keep this to show you in either a short or a longer version a longer video on its own in more detail because this one's special um, but yeah, it's really lovely to do it. And again, it's one of those things where when we flew last year, I just would not have risked it because it, it's quite a it's narrow-ish box, but it's quite long. And I just, it wasn't worth the risk of it getting broken in the luggage. So I didn't take that risk. So that's everything with the exception of the pink Pegasus who has escaped. Um, if I can find him, I will put a picture on the comments. I don't know, maybe he's gone off with Buzz and Woody or something. Um, but if I can find him, I'll put a little picture in the comments and then you can see him as well. But I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah, join me next time if so. And feel free to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.